I only have a few things to talk about obviously today because I went on a bit in my other video. I hope everyone liked it and that it wasn't too long for everyone. Because I don't want to be a real pain, even though I know I can be. But there are a few things that I need to talk to about and uh, talk about and one of them I forgot to do on Friday, which is Sophie's question thing and as you'll see I've just put up the beginning of my video of my little dancing so I hope you like that as well um, as that was one of the things that Sophie asked for so here is the other one and it's about collecting things and keeping things with memories etc and to be honest I've been looking around my room and I've realised I don't so much keep things because I have a sentimental attachment to them it's more that I don't get around to throwing them away. So I've collected a lot of colour and if you saw my room, which I'm not going to show you because it's it's really bad, um, then you'd know that I just, it's not collecting, it's just keeping everything. I'm not good at throwing things away. I'm really not, even if they don't have value. But here are some things that, you know, that I'm, I'm happy I kept. Um, some things I find a bit strange that I kept. I seem to be collecting badges from the places that I work, which obviously <laughs> is a lot of places, because I seem to be getting around jobs at the moment. Not good. Um, here's my first one. Clocks. I mean, it doesn't say clocks on it. I don't know if you can see that, or how well you can see it. Um, but it just says my name. It's not very exciting, you know, but it's a badge for me. And I still wanted to keep it. Just because, you know, it's my first job. And I've still got some really good memories. Like, part of me does miss Clarks, actually. Like, I wouldn't like to go back there now because I don't know anyone. Like, everyone's left now. But I miss it. It was, it was really nice. It was really close and cosy. And I hope my new job will be like that as well. Because it's, again, in a shoe shop. Um, so I have my interview, as I said, on Friday. I have my interview on Tuesday. So that's exciting, isn't it? A new job, another badge, um, and here is my TK Max badge. They just put a label on it. It's quite cheap, really. They don't make special ones for you. They just stick a label over with your name. Yeah, so that's good. Um, I don't have the badge for the job I'm doing now. They don't give you badges. I don't even have the special T-shirt just go looking smart and that's it really it's a shame I don't know what I'm gonna keep from there I have to find something and let's move on to a childhood toy which I really enjoyed um, and that would be the yo-yo I can't remember whether it was this one or one of the other ones that someone tried to take away from me. But me and my friends in primary school went on a mission to get it back. So, you always have a fond memory for me and quite funny a memory. I won't go into it now, but we went on a mission to get it back, three of us. <laughs> Undercover. Um, so I really I really enjoyed playing with yo-yos and it's just it's a nice thing to remember about my youth <laughs> and that, you know, the good times that I had when I was younger. Um, moving on to scrapbooks. I used to, as a lot of people will have, um, made scrapbooks when I went on holiday. Partly, I think it was because our head teacher didn't like us going away on holiday at all. Well, I don't think she liked it. Um, Obviously we have to, but she doesn't obviously like us taking time out from primary school. So when we came back we had to have a scrapbook to show of our holiday. So something came out of it. Um, and here's one of them. Obviously I couldn't colour inside the lines. I still can't to be honest. Um, and here's some other pictures and activities and stuff that I could have done. That I apparently didn't get down to. This one's not very exciting. Oh, we're getting we're getting places. It's the Isle of Wight, which I went to probably about five times when I was younger. Um, I really like it. I want to go back to 
to either buy it because that was really nice. Ah, the memories. At least they're falling apart. <gasps> There's me when I was younger. No. It's a bit blurry on here, but that was me. Like, a mini version of me. Oh, there I am again. Ooh, that's me as a child. <laughs> that's quite funny, actually. Oh, I think that's me playing table tennis there. Look how small I was. Um, and me being a gnome. I don't know exactly where this is in the Isle of Wight. And me having fun on the playground. <laughs> I should take a new picture like that to compare. Um, and there I am again. And it's all just pictures of me, to be honest. It's just me, 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 me. Because no one else really matters at this point. I mean, I also keep cars like for sentimental value um for my boyfriend especially mainly i don't really keep any other cards i probably do but not for sentimental reasons just because i haven't thrown them out but those i keep and it's just nice to look at and it, it just makes me feel quite happy so that's all the stuff that i keep on purpose i mean there probably is other stuff but that's all i can see for now um so that's quite cool um so i'll leave that memory memory lane bit there and I'll answer Immy's question about tattoos which is quite funny because um, me and Max were talking about tattoos the other day I won't say what he said or anything um, but I'll just say what I feel about tattoos um, I myself I'm not I'm not big on tattoos you know I'm not like against them um, I'm just not not like the biggest fan you know what I mean like I think they look nice on some people. I think some people can pull it off, and it depends what the tattoo is, obviously. Um, but I'm, I just don't think, I don't think I need one, like, myself. They look good on other people, but I don't think it would suit me. So, I'm not going to go for one, but I'm going to go with the question, and if I was to get one, and I'm sure a lot of people say this, um, I'd like to get, like, a star or something somewhere, like, something really nice. Something pretty. Oh, I don't know, they're probably really common. But I, I wouldn't want to get something that I'd grow out of. I'd like to get something that I could, you know, keep and, like, look back on and, you know, even when I'm wrinkly and still think, oh, it looks all right, actually, you know what I mean? Like, if I was to get one. So I think that would still look cool. I might still, like, do, like, a few days one. You know, like, the day tattoos you get. I can't remember what they're called. Um, but I don't think, for me... And I'll keep one for now, but I know other people, and the, at least one person on this channel has has some tattoos. But they will obviously tell you later on in the week. Um, so that's sorted. I think I've got all that done now. Um, Emmy, also in your video, you explained the story. Thank you for that. Um, I quite like that story. That was a good one. And... Yes, you can be pink. Yes, now pink is taken. So we need to get this ready, and I think it would be really cool if we can all do it, and we can all get together. So that's me sorted for today again. Sorry for another long video, and I hope everyone has a great week. Carolyn, see you tomorrow. And I'll leave you with some pictures of the meal slash drinking of Saturday night in Kingston. Enjoy. Bye.